Yes, we got to get the plug in. You know what happens if we don't put the plug in. If you go fast enough, you don't need it. I've heard. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> okay. <only> forget once. <laughs> so as you can see, guys, we are not turkey hunting. We are not duck hunting. We're not goose hunting. We're not bear hunting yet. And we are not, what else have we been doing lately? Fishing. We're not fishing either for steelhead. We're back with Sharky's Charters. Uh, John called me the other day and says, hey Trent, you want to go do the fish for families again? And I said, absolutely. So anytime that we can get out in the ocean, we try. But uh, so we are going to head out and do some trophy lingcod fishing. Correct, John? Trophy? Yes, yes trophy. Trophy lingcod fishing. I've never done this. I've lingcod fished obviously in the past, but yeah, we're going for big ones this time. So I'm super, super jacked about it. And like I said, it's going to be fish for family. So we're going to donate the fish that we catch and have shuck seafood actually flay them all out, vacuum seal them. So everything's FDA approved. And then we'll go distribute them in a couple of weeks once they get all processed. So really really cool program um and just getting out here is awesome we um comment below actually so my goal if uh born and raised if we can ever afford it but is to get an ocean boat similar to this and to get uh to do an ocean series for you guys so you guys you know we'll go out and we'll do crabbing and everything and then we'll take people as well that's my goal is to take you guys the viewers and uh be able to give back to you guys uh and and ocean fishing i just it's something that i really really enjoy so hopefully hopefully in the near future we can uh we can swing it but anyway for now right now let's go out and let's catch some giant lingcod who do we got Seal. fishing today oh yeah so another cool thing is dad we got dad as always um he he wanted to go today and which it's always fun hanging out with dad and then i got a really really good friend of mine his name's tim um He's, uh, he's from a couple couple miles away from us. He lives he lives about two and a half hours away from me. I don't get to see him very often, so it's really cool. He came down last night, spent the night at the house. and So good to see old friends, and um, yeah, and it's great to just fish with John again. He's such a cool dude. So. Explain to me what a lingcod is. Uh, lingcod is uh, a bottom uh, fish that uh, hides in the rocks, and uh, yeah, they they weigh anywhere from eight to you know 40 pounds probably, and they're super aggressive. Uh, they eat other fish, toothy critter. Uh, taste really good, delicacy. <laughs> we love fishing for them. They're one of our uh, staples, and what we go for with people. Everybody wants to catch a great big one. Yeah, so they can get in. 
like that. There you go. There you go. Okay. He can be taught, it just takes time. Observation. Observation. So what you're saying is the last pot might not work very well. <laughs> well, we will see. It. Okay. For the first time uh, when I fish with this, uh, for the day I push reset once. That tells the reel where the top is so it knows when to stop. I'm starting to mark a little bit of uh, fish on there. You can see them in the upper uh, part of the screen right there. Here. Yep. Okay, so then we got our brake. Remember brake back, this is our throttle. Brake is back. I'm just gonna drop it as it falls. It's gonna count down in meters. These are Japanese, foreign made, so they use everything in meters. I wish we had one in feet, but think of this okay. number more as a reference point. Uh, and each reel is a little bit different because of the diameter of the spool or the line on there. You can see that there's, again, quite a bit of current out here. The, cur the weight is falling at an angle really hard, so we'll see what happens here. But as it gets down to 100, we're getting down there. It should be pretty close. I stopped it for a second. There it hit. So then I'm going to start cranking it. And I'm going to crank it because we're, remember we're rising up and down these swells. So it's going to, that height is changing eight to 10 feet every time we, uh, you know, rise and fall. So it does a lot of the jigging. It's hard to imagine that it's just lifting us yeah. eight to 10 feet. Yeah, I don't see any any fish hitting it yet, but what I like to do, I did mark some on the sounder, but we've got so much angle that I may have been over the fish, but our gear is sitting over here. And so if they can't see it, they're not gonna get it. But what we do, we hit the bottom, I cranked it up, I got some tension on it. Then like you remember last time, we'll start it up. I look at the reference number 115, and I'm gonna start bringing it up. Uh, I'm looking, for those fish in the water column. They're not always right on the bottom. A lot of the times they'll be up off of the bottom and uh, we'll run the gear into them. Uh, you know, fish, when they're, when they're down there, they're not so much looking down. They all got their head. They're kind of watching above them. And so a lot of the times we'll get up to where the fish are at. All of a sudden it'll start bouncing. We're, we're into them, you know. So we'll see if we've read into anything. We started at 115. I'll bring it up to like one, 104, 105. If I don't get anything, I'm not seeing anything on the sounder now. So I'll stop it. And then I'll drop it again. And I just keep repeating that until I find the fish. And we'll get the boat positioned over them. I did see some on the sounder, so I know there's some in here. So we'll just, what we'll do here is I'll start. Wanna just run, run rods and out? Uh, go ahead and drop the other one down too. and. Uh, I'm going to start fishing us around for them. Right. So go ahead and get that one down and uh, try some heavier lead. Get her down right, right on the bottom. Okay, we're good. Go, go ahead, ahead on it. Okay. Can I drop? Yep. We got a little tip wrap there. But... So that worked. We, we, we As soon as we switched lead, wow. we got on to them. You know, the, the gear was falling behind them. So. Yep, there we go. He's oh, on. Just a nice steady speed, not too fast. You okay. just had to pave the way, huh? Got to pave the way. Put on a little bit more weight, got it on the bottom. Feels like a little better one. We want the decent size because we're looking for bait here. It looks like a pretty good it size. It looks like one. a better one. It looks like a better one. The old meat hoist. Bring her home. Bring her home. Just winching. There you go, Tim. There we go. There we go. Isn't that something? Just a little Let's bit go. of a gear change, and it on. makes a big difference. This is the third time I've done this, so. This is the I second love. time, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, second yeah, that's time. Right. Talk to me. He's coming. I, hands free. <laughs> hands free. Now, you guys will want to uh, pull that out of the holder in the, you know, before it gets all the way up so you. Yeah, follow the rules and hold on to it. Okay. <laughs> you see my technologically advanced 
water uh, live well here. Yeah. <laughs> That's good enough to get close. Oh, we got two. Nice. Oh, we got three. three. Oh, That's wow. Seven. Hey. That's seven. <laughs> I've got seven. You know what these are? Oh, baby. These are not bait. These are Jeez. canary. Go, go ahead. ahead. Keep her. Reel her on. Go ahead. Keep reeling. Yep. All the way to the tip. Got it. Good. Nice big canary rockfish, man. Nice. Andy. Those are going to make some good meals for folks. Yeah. Nice. Drop her back. Uh, what do you want to do? Let's, let's, uh, let's pause on this. We're going to get a couple of these, but we're actually looking for some bait, too. <laughs> maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll drop that down and get get some of those canaries. We'll take turns. Get Daryl up here. Yeah. Let's do that. Dad. Let's get Daryl up here. I don't want to catch one gone unless it's 45, 50 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, they really come. And in a hurry, like once we start the bite, yeah, they know what's going on. And we bite. just keep cycling this. You got a fish, too, but you can't just not bring the people because it's coming too many. So, where do you want to put these, Scott? Uh, these guys we're going to put in the uh, back, the back uh, box. In this. And we'll, uh, we'll, I'm right behind let's you. see. <laughs> I've got, uh, I've got an open one here. Want me to bleed them? Yeah, let's bleed them. Okay. Okay. That fish back this way, right? Right. When I first get to see him. Yeah. Oh, there's one down there. Keep reeling, keep reeling. Lift. Uh, all right, that one now, uh, that's that might make bait size. That's the bait status right there. Yeah, I like that one. We can make that work. Hear that, Trent? Yeah, we got bait. What do you got? Bait. Bait. We got oh, bait. We got a bait size. That's a yellow tail. Oh, that's a beaut. I, I don't say this often, but why don't you guys start catching a little bit smaller fish? Smaller fish. <laughs> Those fish are called uh, physostomes. They can, uh, uh, it's like a way to refer to their biology, but they can actually get rid of some of that uh, air that they're building up in their bodies. They're coming up, yep. kind of blowing up yeah. their uh, their stomach out. The yellowtail rockfish, he's got a connection between his air bladder and his actual, uh, I guess his throat. And uh, he can get rid of that air that's, uh, you know, built up in his system as he's coming up like a diver, you know. So they don't they don't get the yeah. stem. And so he's just like he's fine right now. Yeah. Look at him, I mean coming upstream, you know. Super tough fish. Yeah. Big canary looks like. It's more big. Nice, nice. Trophy. Those are pretty good size ones. Those are big baits, you guys. I like it. Big, big baits. baits. <laughs> these are big baits. Look at that one. Wow. Is that one these made? Are, yeah, these not. are these are eating size. Um, but we can we can uh, we'll keep keep this one for bait. Maybe that one. Eater. Yeah, we need a little bit smaller. These are eat. You know, that's that's a pretty good sized fish. Yeah. Whoa. We to win that's a dandy. On the way Did you have something big? That's a dandy. Were you catching them a little off the bottom there? Yep. There you go. There you Cut go. It. Still on there? Yep. Yeah, he's still on there. Bring him home. Maybe that's the one we need. This is, looks like a little one, maybe, that's huh? That's what we're looking for. Yeah, that's what I am. Oh, we're three deep. That oh, top nice. one. Oh, yeah. I'll get in there. He got, he got off. Lost one. He lost one. Yeah, he popped off there. We might be able to go get him here in a second because I want to move anyways. I think. Oh my! I'll get you close enough here. Didn't want to go for the jump. Piece cake. Oh yeah. Nice. Awesome. That's a nice one. Wow, that was a good, that was a good gas fish. Yeah, I've been there. Uh, we going, we're yeah. food in this one, aren't we? Yeah. yeah, food, food fish. Food fish. You want to gill it? So we got a new spot here. We are going for smaller. We need to catch smaller. That's the rule. So we want to, we're targeting the smallest fish that we can. We're targeting like something around what, 14 inches? Yeah, that sounds great. 
14 sounds good. If you could do a 12, get 12 would be good. Bad, okay. Okay. I mean, how many times do you go out fishing and you're like, I want to catch something smaller? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I got bit right off the bat, but I don't. I'm at the surface already. Yeah, but you're speeding. There we go. I've been doing top water though. I've been using a popper. <laughs> You've been speeding. I'm getting quite a few of those nicer ones on a popper. <laughs> the perfect bait size here. Just what John was asking for. I see one. Yes, there we go. Talk to me. Perfect. Yep, this is what we were looking Absolutely. for. Absolutely. Couldn't have been better. Oh, way to catch the ding. There's a ling right there, you guys. There's a nice ling. That's the that's the size we want. Mine's so big, I don't know if it's on there. <laughs> must have got off. Not a good look, Trent. Not a good sign. Not a good sign. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, he was right in the mud. I feel like I might have picked up another one on the way. <laughs> they do that hold back. What's haul back when you're logging, is it? Two? <laughs> Two? <laughs> That's what I need to do, dude. Go. We could use whistles on these. Yep. <laughs> there we go. There you go, Trent. Nice. That's gotta be a, yeah. that's about what we're looking for, ain't it? Yeah. Might be a sailfish. It's definitely something on there. What is that? Would you, is that a, a trophy, a bonita fish? Is that what, is that what they call it? It's a bonita, it's, it's considered a trophy fish. Yeah. Are bonita fish big? <laughs> well, it's considered a trophy fish, so yeah, they're pretty big. I don't know what we got going on over here. A little mystery? I don't know, I, yeah. Combo, I think. it's we, we got a combo meal here. You lost some Trent? I don't know. He might be on there, but... <laughs> Wait, waste more than he does. Hey, yeah, I, I, I'm just. Oh yeah, something's there. Something's on there. That's yeah. Yeah, there you go. See, there you go. There we go. Bring him home. Bring him home. Bring him home. <laughs> Horse on that thing. Oh, look at there. Two good ones. That's what we needed. Good job, bro. Nice. Nice, nice. Good job, Tom. Sweet. I don't care what your brother says. I think you're all right. <laughs> Big ones. I don't heard do it. Let's do a... Let's do a release because uh, we need to release one of Tyler uh, Tyler's fish. He had one, so uh, I'll show you how this thing works. We didn't do it last time. We did it, so we'll we'll uh, descend him. This is like my homemade descending device. And uh, <laughs> okay, so go ahead and send him down. There we go. Perfect. Okay, stop. And then jerk up. Nice. There he came off. Go ahead and reel it up. So in, so in Oregon, when we're fishing outside of um, 30 fathoms, we uh, have to descend any rock fish that we release. So that was how we do it. We get them back, to, there it is. We get it back down to uh, My bad. the depth that he can uh, swim back to the bottom and end up floating on the surface. Yeah. But you don't have to buy an expensive one. You can, they're pretty nice. This one you, I just made it with a hook and a lead and a couple pieces of line and it does the job. Today we're going to use this uh, for the lings. I think this is a 9 aught treble hook. Mm. Some people call it an Alaskan fly. Yeah, I've heard that. <laughs> we'll get that tied on. I just put this on with the, just a simple fisherman's knot and three or four wraps and 175 pound test is not too bad. So link cod, can you see them on your graph or are you just looking no. for a structure? So yeah, so I'm looking for structure. Uh, 
I, I imagine what they do is they sit down there on these rocks like lizards and uh, just watching. And all the fish know better than to get close to them. And I think they're just waiting for a, for a fish to come by that's not paying attention or whatever, and he just ambushes them. Because they're sure they're, they sure look like a tiger, you know, and all their spots and everything on them. And so then we just I'm just gonna rig it up here with the we got our leader and a weight. So happens I just use this as the weight. Same thing, just a couple of fish to fishermen's pot. You know, we just get us a <laughs> brand new hook. <laughs> got a weight, and uh, we'll get a leader. I'll I'll make sure you know when we use braid. We want to put a leader in between this and this. This is an 80 pound braid. So I've got some uh, some 60 pound or 80 pound um, uh, mono that we'll make a short leader out of. Gotcha. And that way if it does get hung up on the bottom, we can actually get it off without having to cleat it to the boat and pull on it with the boat to break it free. <laughs> so are you coming up off bottom just a little bit or are you want to bounce? Yeah. So. Uh, we'll definitely we want to drop it to the bottom and then we we'll want to pull it away from the bottom in a perfect world this would never touch the bottom it would, if the, this was the bottom it would always sit right here but remember we're traveling eight foot yeah eight to ten foot so when you when you hit the bottom you're gonna have to bring it up and get it away from it you know maybe eight to ten foot so I like three meters okay. off the bottom so you look at when you struck and uh, you know, are you on the top of the swell, the bottom of the swell, we get it up, they'll come up. The lingcock can feel it. They can feel that fish vibrating down there and um, they'll come right up and grab it. Okay. So we're just gonna put him on whole and live. In Oregon, uh, we can use live bait in the ocean. We have to count it against our limit. Uh, so um, we can't cut the bait up, but you can use it live, no problem. It's a non-game fish, so we'll just rig him up, put that hook in the side of him just like that. Oh. We're gonna find a reef here to set him down to. I'm sitting right now and a little bit too deep, so we're gonna pull over to a reef and I'll have him drop here in two seconds. Okay, let's send it. Tim, tell me, tell me a story. Trophy hunting. Trophy hunting. Trophy hunting. <laughs> for that. Okay. Let's, let's, has he still got both hooks in him? Yep. yep. Okay. Good. Let's send him. Okay, so we're up over 270 feet deep. So I'm just going to come in here with you and we're going to... So as it's going down, imagine that it's the, it's like a kite because it's heavier. It's going, uh -huh. it's getting pushed back. So what we're going to do is we get it down to about 50. I'm going to have you stall it or stop it with your thumb. And we're just going to pause for a second and it's going to pull the bait back towards us. Because right now it's getting a bow in the line. So when, when we do hit bottom, I'm going to want you to crank that reel really until I tell you to stop, okay? Right. And we're going to do it fast. we got to get him away from the bottom because, like I said, he, he's gone to the wrong side of town and he's trying to find a place to hide and it's going to be in the rocks with that great big nine off. <laughs> okay, go ahead and stop it again for me. I'm at 92. So we, we're, we're probably like 10 to 12 feet, you know, off the bottom right now. I'm guessing oh, it is we should be. And we're gonna wait. Yeah. This is the final drop here. Final countdown, someone say. Okay, I want you to go to 103. Stop. Okay, good. Pause. If you feel that hit the bottom, I want you to pick it up. So let's drop it down. Wait to see we're at the bottom of this swell here. Here we're at the bottom. There's the yep, bottom. There's real, real, real. Okay, stop. There you go, I saw that, yep, good. All right, so now we're just we're just gonna sit there and wait a oh. second. Oh, there, see that is a fish biting it. No, no, don't pull on it. Okay. Okay, so, just go ahead, don't, don't, don't give up, it ain't over. Yeah, because he's still hooked good. You, you gotta, you gotta wait till, we, we wanna feed him. See there, yep, that, he's got him. a hold of it. Yep. Um, so we wanna, we yep. wanna let him eat on it. Usually what I tell people, is now to start cranking on the crank on the rod. Keep pulling. Okay, go ahead and stop. I don't know if he let go of it. 
like sometimes they're smaller lings and they'll grab onto it too like that did and then they'll let go but right now i saw that i saw that uh the slack uh -huh. main thing is is instead of setting the hook with the rod which is great and all the, the throttle is what you're going to set the Faster. hook with i want you to give it full let's say that that rod when we rise up the he's swell there. he's there yeah, he's chewing on it so as we rise up the swell you know after let's say a count of 60 we'll go rising up the swell you'll feel the weight of him on there and then i want you to full throttle into him and okay. and don't yeah see there he's biting on it you can feel him huh you feel that weight yeah, yeah. that's so cool see there it got slack because we slid down and all the weight uh, you know that lead and the fish is all just being suspended by him so just yeah you're good let him chew on it for a minute i'm gonna work on this other yeah, i haven't seen him pull on it real hard yet a lot of the times they'll once they get a hold of it good they'll start they'll swim they'll dive back towards the bottom and really give you a good hard pull and that's when i usually lay it to it Good one. That's a like catcher. Down periscope. Oh, it's a good thing we brought it up. Okay, good. Everything looks good. That's the we saw something else. Definitely it's been feeling some, you know, it's got some marks. I don't know if it's from the hook or from a ling, but uh, everything looks good still as, as far as how this is. So we're going to send it back down. How's it feel? Just, just bait. Yeah. Bait? Bait. Nothing. Definitely there been go. chewed on. There you go, Trent's hooked up. Fish, fish on the jig. Let her back down. Uh, no, let's stay up. We'll, uh, yeah. Yeah. we'll go. I'm going to find a snow spot. <laughs> Bring him home. How's she feel? It feels good. The rod's a little bit, I on think the, the rod, 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 this rod's pretty nice, but I think it's a little deceptive. That's my friend Josh Black. Thank you very much, man. Yeah. Let us try this out. <laughs> I don't know, maybe not, thank you, because now I'm gonna have to have some. <laughs> I like it. Technique, yeah. it's all mental. <laughs> all mental. I did get hung up for a second, and then I got it off of there, and then I had fish. I don't think it's huge. Unless it just doesn't know it's hooked yet. It could be a rock fish, I yeah. think. I think, I think we're on each other. Do you? I do. Or it could be Tim. I mean, I got a fish, I definitely. think Trent's got a fish. But. Well, it's worth 10 bucks for me to knock it off. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that is true. Just a rock fish. Oh, nice looking rock fish. We'll let him go. Yeah, nice. Pretty. Yeah, that is pretty. Isn't that crazy? They'll go Boy, after Those it. hooks are <laughs> aggressive, aren't they? Yeah. Dang. Just calling them in with the big giant uh, copper, copper something or other. Copper pipe. Copper pipe. Ring that dinner bell. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding. Show us how it's done. This is it. I feel really good about this. Really good. What do you think? I'm thinking it's good to see a bit rod stalling out a little bit. Well, that's that's a a little bit of a fish, yeah. Not terribly large. It's cool though. This rod sure bends like crazy. It's like using a fly rod with a with electricity. I think we might have another. Let's go for more speed. I don't know what I'm hooked into. 
<laughs> I think we're on to a crab pot. A crab pot? Yeah, I think so. I think we're hooked into like an underwater crab crab pot. Yeah. I didn't think that. Hey, That's, I've caught a lot of things, but never one of those. Yeah. Is it gaining or? I'm gaining ground. Are you? Are you? Okay. Is it or is it stalled out? Yeah, I see it stalling. Then bring that other one on the other side up. Yeah, see, I think we got. Um, so what it is is like these guys that are crabbing. Their pots get drug out here in the deep, and they get over their head, and they get drug into this reef, and then we'll be out here fishing. And you had a fish, didn't you? Yeah, I had a fish, and it just got around the uh, the, pot. the line. Yeah. What and we now doing? we both. Um, there isn't much we we can do other than just there. I pulled on it and broke it loose. Did you get it loose? And it can be line too. It felt like line. Like it can be somebody's line that broke off a long time ago. And then it's basically just like, so turn the spool off or the, there you go, just shut her down and then. You got a fish. I got a ling. The first ling of the day. Look at that. Hey, nice little male. Good eating size. Perfect. You want me to gaff? Yeah, I want, I want him. I'll yeah, eat him. Yeah. Good eating size, Ling. What a six pounder. That's a dandy. Well, maybe. Tougher head than I thought. Hit that sucker. Wow. Good job. We got him. He's in the boat. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Ling, baby, Ling. Heck yeah. All right. I'm happy. Except for Trent's hooked up still. I'm not happy about that. I don't know what's going on here. It was weird that it was, you were hung up and then you got it. And he yeah. was still on there. First Ling cod. On the pipe. Just set him right here. All downhill from here. That's what I was Got the stink off. Got him. Got him bleed. Sweet. <laughs> I don't think it's very big. Two or three jerks and Trent's, Trent's hooked up. Doesn't take long when you know what you're doing, right? <laughs> That's a good sign. That's still ling cotty though. Looks, feels like long. What do we see? Color? No, not a ling cod, but. Oh, yellow eye. There's our, fr our old friend, the yellow eye. <laughs> we'll, we'll get the descender ready and. Take him back. Yeah. What's up? Coming home. I have no idea. <laughs> I actually, I, I used my heart. Turned on my heart light. He's still there. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh. 55 pounds, huh? Young? Yeah, 55. Okay. That's going to be the boat record. Or 54 is our what did Jeff say? Did you say? Uh, he said 30, uh, 38. 38. Yeah, the other boat, Jeff got a 38 pounder. That's a great fish. That's an, yeah. This one will eat that. Okay. He's got some weight to him, though. Oh, yeah. We'll see. Look, look, we'll look see. Oh, yeah. Sitting at 38. It's going to be a good pull there. Just about stalled her out. Not yet, we're getting close though. Color. Big fish. Big fish? Big fish. Oh, big dog. Real, real, real. There's your trophy. Look at this. Holy Look at this, boys. Smoke. There you go. Oh, yeah!
Yes. That's a dance. Holy smooth. Wow. That's a sea beast. That's a dance. Oh, wow. Good job, man. Good job. That was awesome. There's your beast. That's wow. What do you think of that? Look at that thing. I have never, ever even seen a lingcod that big. <laughs> yep, we got him. We're in Oregon. We gotta get a fish. Hold on. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. What do we got? Okay, the tail of the tape. I'm at 26. 26. 26 pound lingcod. <laughs> on the bogey. Big. Dog. <laughs> Man, that's cool. That is a beautiful Thank wing. you so much, brother. Thank you. Look at the teeth on that thing, guys. I mean, imagine getting your hand just stuck in there. You can see the size of it. I mean, it's so big. Everything on that. But I mean, look at about eating. how tall I am. Yeah. And it comes up, legs. clear up past my leg. Oh, that thing Good is a job. monster. Got me now. Nice, nice. That's a damn Ten dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's bigger ones out there. Tyler, tell me a story. Trying to just sink her down to the bottom. Are oh, you still waiting? Yep. Drop her down nice and easy. Nice and easy. That's my technique. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Like it's hot. Tyler's got one chewing. Tyler's got yep. one chewing. How long do I wait until I, until I give it to him? You just follow your heart. Yep. You got to do. Full speed. Hit him. Woo. Is he there? Keep going, keep going. Hit him again, hit him. Oh yeah. He's there, ain't he? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, there. He's there. He's there. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Keep him on. Oh yeah. Oh, Beautiful. Yeah. I like that. Shake. I think so. Still on, Tyler? Oh, yeah. He's still on. Going to shake. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll switch your sides, Tyler. All right. It's a sea beast. Oh, we got on the sound of 16. 16. 16. Oh, there we go. Real, real, real. That's my thing I'm pushing. Lift up. I got it. He's dragging back real nice. I got color. Color, color. Hog. Oh, baby. There you go. Giant. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Link card. It's yeah. a dandy. Yes. Good job. Nice. Good job, man. Thank yeah. It's a monster. Yeah, they're biting now. Nice fish. Nice fish. Cooked good, too. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yep, good hook, good hook set, everything. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Nice work. Good like a pro. I'll put your hand right on top of mine. Literally on top of it. Yep, there you go. Nice. <laughs> That's a dandy. That's awesome. Yep. That's a dandy. <laughs> good job, buddy. Awesome. Awesome fish. Is that your first link cod? This is my first one. That's good one to have a first one, I'll tell you that. That's for sure. He's probably, I don't know, 15 pounder maybe? Yeah. Maybe a little less? Yeah, you want the tail of the, the tail of the tape? The, yeah. This, this, uh, gonna weigh it on her. this has been with me for six years, so all the fish we weigh are this guy. Here you go. Let's see what my guess is. I'd say between 16 to 17 pounds. That's a damn right there. Awesome. Anybody's book, man. Nice. Awesome. Beautiful nice fish. fish. Good, healthy fish, too. Now that's a female? Yeah, another female. Gotcha. Yep, she's uh, putting on some weight. She's already spawned. 
and uh, putting on some weight. Yeah. 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 Nice big fish. Slow play it, Trent. Slow play it. Slow play it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there, there you go. go. He was <laughs> Sleeper. Nice. Oh, slow play it, buddy. Nice. Another job. nice one. <laughs> awesome. Look at, that, look at that hook tip. Yeah, it's just right in the tip of the jaw. Slow play. Slow play. Yeah, yeah. Love it. <laughs> nice job, man. You guys wanted to move. Yeah. I, didn't really oh, move. I didn't really want to go. That was beautiful. That's right at the end. Things to do, man. There you go. There. Yep, right there. Yo, man. Yeah. First go round. How's the fight on That's that one? That's from Nemo, probably. It was good. Was yeah. it good? Yeah, it was good. He was, um, so he hit it, and I, I think I pulled it away from him, and I think he came up and got it at the very last second. Right as you're pulling it away. Boom. Uh-huh. Yeah. He I disappeared for a bit. Where do we want him? That's awesome. Sometimes all you got to do is say you're leaving. <laughs> like this place sucks. Time to go. <laughs> How off. many times I've done it? See, this place sucks. We gotta in here go. Or in the back. Uh, or where we going? We're gonna go in this back bin. We'll get a knife and I'll uh, bleed him. Make sure. Uh, yeah. Let's, let's get there we go. Make sure he does it. Yeah, we gonna poke him here. Cut those gills. There we go. I had pretty good one on, I think. It pulled out. That was awesome. That was awesome. Dude, those are so cool. When they come up and you see the color of them, you're like, Urgh! you never know how big it is. Right. Oh, man. Swam with it. It's cool. We've got a couple more to catch. Talk to me, Trent. Well, we are done oh, with the link cod fishing. We got bottom fish, we got link cod. Now it's time to just cap this thing off on a giant pot of crab. Any guesses? Any guesses? 25. 25? Let's see, I'm going, I'm going for 37. 37? I'm going to say 40. Even 40. Why not? Go yeah. bigger, go home. Why not?
So we just made a full day of it. Uh, as always, it's awesome going out and fishing with John. Sharky's Charge, we're gonna link them in the description, like always below. He books out fast, so if you wanna get a trip, try to like hit your vacation on the right time or whatnot, uh, out of Charleston, Oregon. And um, anyway, get a hold of him. He does an awesome job, it's a great trip, and it's super knowledgeable about uh, anything from fisheries, marine biology, to just fishing, probably the best out here, so. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this. Thank you, Tim, thank you. Dad, John, thank you so much. Thank you so much, you guys. I have fun every time we get to go together, and I look forward to it all year long. Congratulations on an awesome elk season, and and uh, mule deer and I'm sure you guys are I can't wait to see the bear hunts that are coming up oh, yeah. yeah you guys we'll see you out there on the water There you go. Yeah. Old fat belly. I heard Jeff got a really nice one today. Yeah, he got a big one. It's, it's just right there, 40 foot. That's oh, pretty amazing. Nice one. There's Trent's big one. Oh boy, there's a big one, yeah. That's 30 something, close to 40, right? No. Well, that was 27. 27, yeah. We're gonna call it 35. 45. Minutes. I was if just gonna hey, come on, there you go. You guys are in the same. Want me to open it for you? Yeah. 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 That's it. See what it compares to your thing? Yeah. If it's less, we're going with the boater grip. Yeah, it's right there, the boat grip. 28. Yeah, 28. Yeah, yeah. That, that boga that, grip is yeah. right that what it, on. Yeah. It's 27, I think, is what we decided. Yeah. So, yeah. Stand over there. That's right. Get a pick. Get a pick. Sure has.